In today's video, we're gonna see how to add your Nest cameras to your Apple Home setup using the Hoob software running on a Raspberry Pi single board computer. So straight out of the box, none of the Nest cameras or even Nest devices at all will work with Apple Home. Thankfully with Hoobs, we can add support for cameras, thermostats and smoke alarms. In this video, we're gonna focus just on cameras and in a future video, I'll post on how to do your thermostats and your smoke alarms. If you're interested in camera brands other than Nest, then check out the playlist linked here where I've done videos on other cameras configured inside Hoobs and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on future content related to Hoobs and Apple Home configuration. A big shout out to the Hoops team for helping me out with these videos and for sending me this cool hoodie and t-shirt combo. You should definitely check out their website to make sure you're up on the latest news and releases for Hoops. So let's just talk briefly about what you're gonna to need to get going with this. You will of course need at least one Nest camera. I'm using my Nest doorbell, but any camera will work. And you can of course configure multiple cameras. You will need Hoobs and you'll need Hoobs at least version 3.1.20. The easiest way to get hoobs is to buy a hoobs in a box like the one that I'm using here. Alternatively, if you already have a Raspberry Pi, then you can buy a pre-flashed SD card from hoobs. Both of those are linked in the description below. If you really wanna go DIY, then I have a video up here about how you can flash your own SD card and install hoobs from scratch. If you're running a version of hoobs that's older than 3.1.20, you will need to upgrade and you'll need to install a very specific version of the FFmpeg software. Now you can do that using the pre-packaged version that the Hoops team have put together by running this command here, which I'll also put in the description so you can copy and paste it into your terminal. So how you sign into your Nest account dictates how you're going to configure Nest cameras to work with inside your Hoops. If you sign in using your Google account, then you'll need one particular plugin and a particular kind of configuration. If you have a Nest account, then you'll need a different plugin and you'll need different configuration. So the Google account approach is the new official approach and the Nest approach will eventually become completely deprecated. So I'm gonna cover both in this video and I will put timestamps below so you can jump to the section that's most relevant for you. The final part of this process is the same for both account types though. So at the end of the video is the same for everybody. So to get started with the Google approach, let's first install the plugin that we need. So come into Hoobs, go to the plugins section here, click search, and we're going to search for Nest-Cam2, which will bring up this plugin here, and we'll click install. Once the plugin is installed, Hoops will restart and you'll be presented with this config window here. You need these three top values, issue token, cookies, and API key to be able to log into your Nest account using your Google account. And this final option here governs how the video is gonna be re-encoded to send to Apple Home. We're going to change that immediately to H264 underscore OMX. This is the encoding that you'll get by using the special version of FFmpeg that the Hoops team have packaged up. To get these three values, it is quite fiddly, and do stay with me on this one. We're going to have to intercept the traffic going to Nest during a login and pull the values out using Chrome. It's quite easy, it's just fiddly, so let's dive in. Come to the Nest homepage, and I've logged out here, and what I want you to do is right-click, click Inspect, and then we're going to go to Network, and we're gonna hit preserve log here. Now, if your uh, window doesn't show up here, if it shows up on the side like this, then you can pull down these three dots here, click on this icon to bring it to the bottom and you'll find you have a lot more space. So make sure in, making sure that preserve log is clicked, we're going to go into sign in with Google. You need to choose which account it is you want, so I use that one. Okay, so now we're signed in, it's just loading in the background, but all the traffic we need is here and we can start to pull apart the different requests. So we're gonna to come to the filter here and the first thing we're gonna type in is iframe RPC. This is gonna bring up one request that's logged here in this table at the bottom. Click on that, go to headers, and then you're gonna copy this entire request URL here. Now this is sensitive information, so you'll be seeing it blanked out on the screen. And when you record this, keep make sure you keep it safe. So I'm gonna copy that, and I'm just gonna paste that somewhere safe for now. So I've pasted that one somewhere safe, so I'm gonna come back into filter and search for something different. This time I want to search for OAuth2 slash iframe. And you'll see there are a few different options here. We want this last one. And what we're gonna do is come into headers again. We're gonna scroll all the way down 
until we see the cookies here. I'm going to copy this entire block. And again, this is sensitive information, so I will be blanking it out on screen. But make sure you copy yours and store it somewhere safe. So that's the cookies. And now we just need to get the API key. And for this, we're just going to search for JWT like this. And we're going to want to take the last one of these issue JWT options here. And I'm going to scroll down again in the headers option here. And I want the request header that is X Goog API key. I'm going to store that. And again, sensitive information. And I want to store that one somewhere safe. So with all those values stored safely, you can now bring them into your configuration. The one that we got first from iframe RPC goes into issue token. The one that we got second from the OAuth slash iframe goes into cookies. And the last one we got, which was the API key, goes into API key. And I've left a little bit of mine showing just so you can see roughly what these look like. That is everything we need to do for this. We can now click save changes. After Hoob's restart, you'll be ready to add the camera inside the Apple Home app. Now you can jump ahead straight to that moment with this timestamp here, unless of course you're interested in seeing how this would also work if you were using a Nest account. To configure Nest using the Nest account approach, first come into Hoob's, go into the plugins option, click search, and then just search for nest-cam. And you want to have this plugin here, 0.017 on the 20th of January 2019, click install. So once that installs, Hoobs will restart and you'll be presented with this config UI. In here, the first thing we're going to do is add FFmpeg codec, and the capital C is important there, colon, and then we want H264 underscore OMX. This is why you have to have the very specific version of FFmpeg so you can get the OMX codec, which makes things very fast on the Raspberry Pi hardware. And then the next thing we need is our access token, so we'll just add the basics in for that. So it's access underscore token colon and then we're going to put the token in here now to get this is pretty simple we're going to log into nest and i don't have a nest account of my own like this so one of the hooves team has lent me theirs obviously i will not be sharing their details so i'm going to sign in with nest type in your email address and so forth here then once you've signed in just come up to the address bar here clear everything out after the home.nest.com part and just type in the word session so once you do that what will happen is this cool config uh, screen will show up and you want to capture the value of this key here the access token and it's everything in between the double quotes now obviously i'm going to blank this out because this is uh, important information and you're just going to copy that and paste it into your config here and then click save changes and restart once Hoobs restarts, we're now ready to add the camera inside Apple Home. So regardless of whether you use your Nest account or your Google account, the way you actually add cameras into Apple Home remains the same, and you will have to add each camera one by one manually inside Apple Home. Let's do that now. So we start out in the Hoobs dashboard, and what we want is to just find this Home Setup pin here. Uh, three numbers, two numbers, three numbers. And then open up the Home app. Hit plus. Choose Add Accessory, click I do not have a code and I cannot scan. Choose the camera, and I know it's the front door camera here. Click Add Anyway, type in your home setup, pin 03145154. Yours may well be the same. And that is the camera added. You can choose where you want to put it, but I'm just going to click Done. I'm going to scroll down here and just show it you. And then let's just click on it. Then after a few seconds, it pops up and you can see the nest in the corner just to prove that this actually is a nest camera and this is my doorbell. So there we are, Nest cameras working inside Apple Home thanks to the magic of Hoobs. Really, really easy to do this. A little bit fiddly if you have a Google account login rather than a Nest account login, but ultimately it works and it works reliably. I've had no problems with this plugin at all, nor with the other Nest plugins, which I'll be covering in a future video. I really hope that you found this useful. If so, please hit like, please hit subscribe, and don't just hit subscribe, but hit the bell as well so you don't miss out on any future content. I will be publishing a lot more videos about Apple Home and how to get the most out of it using Hoobs. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.